Hey boys, it's Harm Nan. Today I'm going to be going over the salvage yard business in Grand Theft Auto Online, how it works, what you need to buy, and how to run this business as effectively as possible, as well as how much money you can actually expect to make from this business. So first things first, as soon as you get into online, once you've downloaded the update, you will get a call from Yusuf Amir telling you to get into the salvage yard business. Once you've received this phone call, you will be able to go online to the website and you will see on the foreclosures website that there is a new business. You're going to enter in here and you will see that there are five brand new locations for the salvage yard. Now there are two locations that are extremely garbage for this and those are the two that are northern on the map, one in Polito Bay and one on the upper right hand side of the map near Grapeseed. Both of those locations are really, really bad. Do not buy either of them. It is a complete waste of money. The discount that you're going to get on purchasing the businesses will make them hell for you to actually run. So please just avoid these two business locations. Now there are three more business locations in the city and the best one is the one located just across the street from the Vanilla Unicorn. It is super centralized and it has a very close proximity to downtown Los Santos, which is going to allow you to get to all the places you're going to need to go for the missions that are within the salvage yard business and for the tow truck aspect of the business as well. Now, when you go to purchase this business, there are a couple of things that you should know. Firstly, the tint that you can do on the business does not matter, it doesn't affect anything. Pick whatever you like, keep it stock if you wanna save money, that really doesn't matter. But the next upgrade is the get trade rates. Now this upgrade will allow you to get discounts whenever you call Moore's Mutual Insurance to get your destroyed vehicles back, as well as it will give you a discount at any Los Santos Customs when you go in for a repair. For me personally, this upgrade makes a lot of sense to get because I am losing vehicles all the time by making videos and things like that. However, if you don't play the game a whole lot, and if you don't really get your vehicles destroyed super often, this really doesn't make a lot of sense for you to get. However, I do think in the long run it will be worth it so long as you plan to play GTA Online for at least a good amount every single year. Next up, there is the tow truck, which you have to purchase for the business if you want to get probably what is the best way of earning money. Now, there are two different tow trucks you can get. You can get the beater or the brand new one. The brand new one is going to cost you $1.1 million, and the other one is going to cost you $650K. Now, this is not just cosmetic the beater will run slightly slower than the brand new one so depending on if you are planning to use this business a lot it may be worth spending the extra money to get the one that is brand new because it will get you to your locations to pick up the vehicles just a little bit quicker but if you're not planning on doing it a whole lot you can probably spend the 650k and honestly you probably won't miss not having the better tow truck I think would probably be just fine for the vast majority of people. Now, owning the tow truck is going to allow you to make passive income through the wall safe, which is the next thing that we will touch on here in the upgrades under the business. Now, the wall safe in this business actually makes you money, unlike the CEO office and the other businesses that have a wall safe upgrade option. The one in the CEO office and every other business that has it doesn't do a damn thing. However, the wall safe in here does earn you at the very minimum $200 a day without doing any sort of work. And I know obviously $200 a day is absolute garbage. However, this is where you will start to earn some more money when you get into the tow truck business, because the more vehicles that you bring in and salvage through the tow truck, the more money your wall save is going to earn you every in-game day. We're going to talk about this a little bit more later in the video, but the last thing you need to know about the upgrades for the business is the staff member. They will dismantle your cars that you repossess with the tow truck for salvage a little bit faster than it otherwise would. They will complete this in 48 minutes instead of just over an hour, I do believe. Now, once you purchase the business, you will get a call from Yusuf telling you to come by. Then you're going to go there and endure the relatively painful cutscene, and then you can finally start making some money. Now, the first way and the easiest way to earn money is by using the tow truck. These missions consist of you going to repossess cars at different locations on the map. You simply go, grab the car, and bring it back to the salvage yard. Now occasionally the police will be chasing you, other times gang members will be chasing you, and then sometimes nobody is going to come after you at all whatsoever. The gang members are a little easier to get away from because when you get a little bit closer to the salvage yard business, they will just kind of go away. However, the police, not so much. They're going to chase you until they get you or until you get away. Now, once you arrive back at the salvage yard with the vehicle that you have brought and you go inside, 
it will start getting dismantled by your staff member. With the staff, it's gonna take 48 minutes or one in-game day to fully dismantle the vehicle. And then the money that you earn from this will be deposited into your wall safe, which you can go and pick up at your convenience. And the safe's capacity is 250,000, so you won't have to check it super often unless you are absolutely running this business as much as you possibly can. For each vehicle you bring back to the salvage yard, you will get $1,000 of passive income every in-game day or every 48 minutes of real time added into your safe. And this maxes out at 24 vehicles brought back to your warehouse, which will earn you $24,000 every in-game day, which is very, very good. This is actually better than the agency safe, plus all of those vehicles that you bring back to the warehouse will also get broken down into salvage and be sold. So this business is actually really good when you consider the passive income that it can bring you. It's actually very good. And then you can go and check your safe every now and then. It maxes out at $250,000, so you won't have to check it super, super often, but definitely pay some attention to it because it will fill up relatively fast, especially if you've delivered those 24 vehicles back to your salvage yard. Now, the other way to earn money is by doing the mini heists that are included with this business. Now, these reset once per week. So once you've stolen all three of the vehicles, you will have to wait until the following week for it to reset so that you can steal another three vehicles. Now, we're not sure if Rockstar's actually planning to change this or not. Hopefully they do because this seems like a huge limiter but these do earn quite a bit of money, so it kind of makes sense to have them limited. I just think that three a week is kind of insane. I think it should be at least seven a week, so you can do one a day. I think that would make a lot more sense, but we'll have to see what Rockstar decides. Now, by completing the first heist, you will be able to unlock the Vapid Stainier LE Cruiser or the police car off of Warstock, so you will be able to purchase it, which is pretty cool. I just thought I would mention that before we talk about how these missions actually work. Now, these do take a little bit longer to set up, and there are a lot more steps than the auto shop contracts, which they are pretty similar to. However, the earnings are a little bit higher through the salvage yard business. Now, the first contract you, you will do will not have a setup cost, and you can expect to earn just over $400,000 if you steal the most expensive car, which this week is the Turismo Omaggio. It's gonna go for $395,000 once you get it. And in order to get this, you are going to have to do two main setup missions and then three out of four secondary setup missions. Now these range from stealing a helicopter to sourcing a getaway car to getting a police uniform to get into the police station. Once you've done all of this, you're gonna get into the heist. You're gonna break this dude out of the police station, take him to the airport, get him in his helicopter. He's gonna go away. He's gonna reveal the location of the car. You're gonna go, you're gonna steal the car, bring it back to your salvage yard. Once you get it there, you can either get your staff to salvage it passively for significantly less money than if you just take the car yourself and drive it down to the dock to sell it yourself. Now, obviously this is a little bit easier said than done. This will take you about 40 minutes. That's how long it took me. Might take you a little bit longer. I was pretty quick with it. So I'd say for the average person, it will take maybe 40 to 50 minutes to do one of these, but you will get about $400,000 for it. Now they're relatively easy. They're kind of fun to do. They are a little bit tedious though. So I'm not a super, super huge fan of this aspect of the business. I'm definitely more of a fan of the passive sort of part with the tow truck. I think that it's a little bit more interesting for me personally, but obviously it depends on what you like to do in GTA. And I do think that this business does offer a good amount of variety depending on the type of player that you are, whether you're more of a passive person or whether you like to go out and earn the money yourself. Now, once you do complete your three vehicle robberies for the week, you can keep doing your tow truck aspect of the business so long as you have a spare car lift open for the vehicles to be put on to be dismantled and then sold for scrap. The salvage yard only has two slots for these vehicles, so you can only have two dismantling at a time. So that is a little bit unfortunate, but they do have to limit the amount of money that you can make at a certain point. The cars that you're gonna be scrapping are gonna fetch between 30 to $50,000 in addition to increasing that passive income that your safe is going to be getting every single day. Anyway guys, that is pretty much the salvage yard business guide in Grand Theft Auto Online. It's pretty simple, it's not that hard to understand. If you guys go there, you're gonna understand how it works. The most complicated part of it for me was the passive income and finally trying to figure out how it actually worked. But now that I do, it makes a lot of sense. 
I personally think this business is actually pretty good, not because of the heist so much, but more because of the tow truck and the semi-passive safe income that is available. At the end of the day, I think it is at least another semi-unique business for Grand Theft Auto Online. It's one more business for Rockstar to give bonus money on every week with the update weeks, and it opens up a couple new opportunities to not get bored as quickly in Grand Theft Auto Online. Overall, I think it is good. It is very overpriced at the start, but I can see why it costs so much because it does earn you half of what your nightclub earns you without having to really do anything after you get those 24 missions done. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this business guide helped you to understand how the salvage yard actually operates in Grand Theft Auto Online. If it helped you out, a like is of course appreciated. If not, dislike. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. I'm trying to hit 200,000 before the end of the year. So if you could help me out with that, that would be awesome. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Peace.